Trump blocked by Twitter and Facebook. Donald Trump has been suspended from Twitter and Facebook after tweeting to supporters who attacked the US Capitol. In a social media message to protesters, he said, I love you, before telling them to go home. He also repeated false claims about election fraud. We have hundreds of thousands of people here, and I just want them to be recognized by the fake news media. Turn your cameras, please, and show what's really happening out here, because these people are not going to take it any longer. They're not going to take it any longer. I just, again, I want to thank you. It's uh, just a great honor to have this kind of crowd and to be before you and hundreds of thousands of American patriots who are committed to the honesty of our elections and the integrity of our glorious republic. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Twitter said it required the removal of three tweets for severe violations of our civic integrity policy. The company said the president's account would remain locked for good if the tweets were not removed. It went on to say that future violations of the Twitter rules will result in permanent suspension of the at real Donald Trump account. It means Donald Trump's days on Twitter could be numbered. The president is not known for paying much attention to Twitter's community guidelines. Facebook and Instagram have banned Mr. Trump for 24 hours. YouTube also removed the video. Snapchat also stopped Mr. Trump from creating new posts, but did not say if or when it would end the ban. Facebook said, we removed it because on balance we believe it contributes to rather than diminishes the risk of ongoing violence. His supporters stormed the seat of US government and clashed with police, leading to the death of one woman. The violence brought to a halt congressional debate over Democrat Joe Biden's election win. In the House and Senate chambers, Republicans were challenging the certification of November's election results. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.